In number 12, we are required to find um, dy over dx. And in part B, we are required to find the equations of the tangents of this curve at the points where the curve intersects the line x equals to 1. So basically at the point x equals to 1. So um, for part A, we shall differentiate this curve implicitly. So <clears throat> dy over dx of um, 3x minus now because this is a product of two functions I will apply product rule so that will be 2, uh, 2y squared multiplied by the derivative of e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power x minus 1 multiplied by the derivative this is 1 here uh, derivative of 2y squared which will be equal to the derivative of 2. Now for this part here derivative of 3x is just 3. Now here derivative of e to power x minus 1 I mean if you find derivative of x minus 1 it's just 1 so it's just e, e to power x minus 1. So um, the answer to this will just be 2y squared e to power x minus 1. Now, here we have to apply chain rule. So, derivative of 2y squared outside, so that will be 4y, and derivative of y is just dy over dx. So, we'll end up with um, 4y um, e to power x minus 1 dy over dx and this should be equal to zero so um, if we expand the bracket this is m as 3 minus 2y squared um, e to power x minus 1 uh, minus 4y e to power x minus 1 dy over dx should be equal to zero so that implies that dy over dx will be equal to um, well I mean <clears throat> what you can do here is maybe take this to the right so we can have something like this you can have something like um, 3 minus 2y squared e to power x minus 1 will be equal to 4y e to power x minus 1 dy over dx that way we can now just make dy over dx the subject so dy over dx will be equal to 3 minus 2y squared e to power x minus 1 over 4y e to power x minus 1 so this will be dy over dx um, this represents the gradient of that curve at any point. So moving on, um, what you're interested in here in part B is um, to find the equations of the tangents to this curve at the points where the curve intersects the line x equals to 1. So what you're interested in is at x equals to 1, uh, what's the corresponding uh, y coordinate? So at x is equals to 1, uh, what is the corresponding y coordinate? So to do that, we are going to plug 1 in place of x here. So we'll have 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2y squared. Um, e to power 0 is equal to 2 which implies that basically negative 2y squared um, will be equal to negative 1 which implies that um, y squared is equal to 1 and that implies that either y is equal to um, 
uh, sorry, this is y squared is equals to a half, um, which implies that y is equal to um, either square root of a half or y is equals to um, negative square root of a half. Okay. Now that we have that, we can be able to find um, the gradients of um, these tangents at these points. Yeah, remember there are two tangents that are looking at because you can see now we have two points. So at the first point, so at uh, one square root of a half, yeah, dy over dx will be equal to 3 minus 2 multiplied by square root of a half squared e to power 0 over 4 multiplied by square root of a half um, e to power 0. So if you substitute these points into the gradient function, so this will be equal to 2 over uh, uh, 4 multiplied by square root of a half, which will be equal to 1 over 2 over square root of 2, because this cancels here. So you have 2 there. Well, and this will be equal to square root of 2 over 2. So the equation of uh, the tangent uh, remember, this is equal to m. Yeah, this is equal to the gradient. So the equation of the tangent um, equation of the tangent at one uh, square root of a half will be y minus y1 and y1 happens to be um, square root of a half and that will be equal to m which is uh, 2 over 2 into x minus 1 and you can just leave the equation of a tangent in point slope as a point slope formula in, in that form that is acceptable so for the second point, which is at uh, one negative square root of a half, dy over dx, uh, so dy over dx will be, so we substitute again, just like we did here, yeah? We substitute into the gradient formula, the corresponding values of x and y, so that will be equal to 3 minus uh, 2 into bracket square root of negative a half squared e to the power 0 over 4 multiplied by negative square root of a half e to the power 0. And that will give us uh, 2 over um, 4 multiplied by negative square root of a half which will be equal to 1 over negative 2 over root 2, uh, which is equal to negative root 2 over 2. And that will be the gradient for the second tangent, which means that the equation of the tangent at one negative uh, square root of a half will be y minus. Now, <clears throat> because here we have minus minus square root of a half, that will be plus square root of a half, which will be equal to the gradient, which is negative root two over two into x minus one. And that will be the equation of uh, the second tangent.